and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what in a blogger's handbag video. I'm going to be talking you through what is in my handbag. I am of course a blogger and that's how I started um, this journey I guess of YouTube. I started off as a blogger and today I have collaborated with Mark B who have very kindly gifted me one of their beautiful bags which I will link below. It is a handbag called the Melrose handbag in black and it is quilted, faux leather and beautiful. So I've been using this ever since I got it a couple of weeks ago and I love it. So I'm going to be talking you through what is inside. Okay, so let's open her up. There's th uh, one, two, three, four, 4.5 compartments. And the lining is left the print, so that's cute. Um, so I'm just gonna pull things out and see what happens. The truth is, what's in my blogger's handbag is more bags and that is the truth. I love a bit of handbag organisation, I'm not going to lie. So first of all, we have this purse, it is my River Island purse which I've had for coming up to two years now I believe and I got it on sale for £6 which I'm very proud of and it was when I went through a really a really girly phase, I guess you could say. I was really digging the pastels, which I still am, as you can see. But this was a really girly stage, and I saw it and I was like, oh, I want that. And it was six pounds, which is great. Has everything I need. <laughs> so that's in my handbag. And then we have my makeup pouch, which is from Primark. And I believe this was probably on sale as well. And this says Dream Big, and it's got a kind of turquoise unicorn on it which I think is really cute and inside we have powder some highlight from MUA and we have max toast and butter that's a really good nude so if you're feeling a bit barefaced or if you were trying to go from kind of casual to a bit more evening and then we've got a red lipstick this is one of my really old ones because I don't like putting like my nicest makeup in my handbag just in case. Got a little uh, charity pot of hand and body lotion from Lush, which I got in Edinburgh. And then I have a couple of concealers. I have this concealer from Primark, which I just can't get rid of because it matches my skin perfectly. It's great for little touch-ups. I get little red bits under my nose, so that's great for touch-ups. Then I have this Kiko concealer, which is a really thick concealer. So if I really need a bit of a touch up more foundation, it's kind of in between a foundation and a concealer, it's quite high coverage. Then I have some hairbands and bobby pins, which are always necessary. Then we have my diary. This is literally what gets me through life. I have the worst memory and I don't like trying to remember things either because I feel like it fills my brain with unnecessary things. So I write them down and I could write them in my phone but I've just always had a diary ever since, you know, back in school days you get given those diaries that you have to fill out what homework you have and stuff. I think it's just stuck from then and I love having a diary. I always have a diary and it's just all completely worn because I use it so often. I have this really cute notebook from Sass and Bell. It's really, really cute and it's just great to have <laughs> oh, YouTube ideas. It's got lots of blank pages left, ready for more ideas. Some, their makeup, eye makeup remover pads. Um, so they're just little round circle pads, but I think they're great for when you have a little leakage or spillage or a little, I don't know, a bit of mess that you need to clean up. These are great, they're from Primark and they're a pound for a pack of two, I think. So I just stick those in. They're nice and compact to fit in a handbag. Then we have my Sass and Bell bag in a bag. I always get compliments on this. Out of all the things, it's a bit tatty now, the wings, they're a bit tatty now, I've had them for so long, but Sass and Bell kindly gave this to me at a blogging event, and as you can see, it opens out into a bag, which is handy for those 5p bag chargers to avoid those. And then I have some sunglasses and this is just the Ray-Bans case but inside aren't real Ray-Bans. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fraud. So we have these which look like the Ray-Bans but they're not the price of the Ray-Bans. <laughs> However, we all know British weather. 
if my Ray-Bans aren't in there, then my umbrella for sure is. <laughs> because this weather's unpredictable and quite often I'll, be have, I'll have both in my handbag at the same time because you literally never know with this weather. So <laughs> those are in there. And then we come to the little knickknacks at the bottom. So we have some mini deodorant for those busy days running from meetings and press days. Uh, antibacterial hand wash, handy, can't go wrong. I have this SOS manicure kit, so you know when you get like a nail snag and you wanna just touch it up, I've got everything I need in there. And then we have my little business card holder and mini vlogging business cards. I made these probably last year, so one side is a picture and there are different pictures and then the other has all my information for my blog and I find these really cute and handy just to have. I made them myself. I should probably invest in some nicer ones but it was kind of back when I first started blogging and I didn't really know if it was like going to be a thing. I, I wasn't sure so I made some little ones which I thought was kind of nice DIY. Compact mirror from Primark with a Diamante leopard print and you've got oh You've got like a magnifying side and normal side, which are really handy. I love little compact mirrors like that. Have this So Vanilla uh, Spritz. I love this one. And you know when you're feeling like you're running up and down in London and you're just feeling a bit smelly? You whack on some deodorant, whack on your So Spritz. <laughs> and you're good to go. This is one of my favorite scents. In fact, I think this is my favorite. So Body Mist, really great really inexpensive and you can find them in most uh, like boots and super drug kind of shops. And last but not least, we have Oyster Card. Living in London, you have to have one of these bad boys. Well, I guess you can use contactless, but I, I like to have an Oyster Card. So I store train tickets in here and my Oyster Card. And this is a Kath Kidston case, which I love. I think I've had a Kath Kidston Oyster card holder for the past five years or so. I just keep changing them, but I just love these. And these are really great to get when they're on sale. I think they're about five pounds when they're on sale or something. So these are really cool. Oh. So, oh, one more thing. It's <laughs> like a Mary Poppins bag. So the last thing would be my headphones, which I can't go anywhere without. I mean, if you like music, like like I like music, it just really helps. If you're having a good day, if you're having a bad day, if you're having any kind of day, you stick on YouTube or iTunes and that changes everything. So I always have some headphones. And also, I do like to watch a good YouTube video. I do find myself coming home from work watching YouTube on the way home, so those are perfect. And obviously, can't forget, I'm filming on it now, but I do carry my camera around wherever I'm going. For a blogging event or blogging day, I will always have my camera. We've come to the end. She's empty. So now you can really see inside, actually, can't you? I love how luxurious this bag feels. It feels like a designer bag, but it is not designer priced at all. I will link my Melrose bag down below and also link to some other bags that I'm loving on the Mark B website. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Make sure you give this one a like and a comment. Let me know what you have in your bag. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.